okay. Um, th this is now the tarot process part five. And somebody emailed me about a horoscope spread. And I want to give you a little bit of an example of how a horoscope spread should be read or one way of looking at how you go about putting it all together. Because the person who emailed me had three questions. One was um, if the person's husband is looking for somebody else and how do you deal with that kind of question? The second one was when would the biz a new business contract show up? And the third one was um, will am I d does it look like I'm going to move? Am I going to buy a new house? And how will it go? That kind of question. So I thought I would um, try this. Okay, the thing is, I've I've got the camera up here and it's on a tripod, and I'm hoping it shows up it, that you can see what's going on here. But the thing is, I set it up, but then I've got to take the camera off to check that it works, that the 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 field of view is correct. Then when I put the camera back on the tripod, I move it a little bit. It's really annoying. Anyway, so here we go. A horoscope spread. And you know you ought to know the 12 houses, the self, income, um, communication, and brothers and sisters, um, the home, children, especially the first child, um, sickness, partnerships, death and regeneration, foreign travel, business, hopes and aspirations, and karma is one way of looking at the 12 houses. So let, let, let's say we begin with the questioner who says, my daughter's husband is struggling financially. What's happening with him? Because that's the kind of question that people might have. So you think, okay, th this we're saying is a que the, the questioner is here. That's the self of the questioner. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the first child, right? The fifth is children. But we want to know about the, the, the first child's husband. So we go, and the husband is a seventh house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This card here describes the husband. And so we're going to look at this card to get an idea of what kind of person he is or what he's going through at the moment or something along those lines to get an idea of how to answer the question about his f financial difficulties. So if I bring this up, you get the six of six. Um, sorry, I keep thinking the camera's over there. The six of pentacles upside down. So we can understand that Maybe, maybe if we look at it upright, that's the husband, or maybe this is the husband down here receiving an income, but it's upside down. So he's not receiving cash at the moment is one way of looking at it. And again, so what, what can he do about it? So the second house, that's the self, that's the second house. Second house shows earned income. So if this is the husband, this is the husband's earned income. So we would look at the card in this position and here we get the Hierophant upright. So what does the husband do? He gets extra qualifications. This is maybe not, I, I picked these cards at random and just laid them out. But that's the kind of thing you would say because the Hierophant shows an instructor of some sort and shows people learning and studying. So either the husband teaches what he knows because he becomes a hierophant or he finds something he wants to do that gives him extra qualifications which will mean that he's got a bigger choice of jobs that he can do it's one way of looking at the six of coins upside down for the person and the hierophant for the value set or for earned income so the person's happy with that and maybe they've they give you some response that he's been thinking about going back to school or something like that, in which case you know that's what he ought to do. So then the questioner, let's say it's a woman, she says, 
I think my husband's about is cheating on me or he's having an affair or he's got somebody else he's interested in. Is it true? And what can I do about it if it is true? So that's the cell, that's the questioner. We could pick the card here, turn the card here to get an idea of what kind of shape the questioner is in. But she asked about, she didn't ask about her, herself. And with the horoscope spread, you're not supposed to turn cards unless you're re requested to do so, right? So the questioner didn't ask about herself. She asked about the husband. So the husband is over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the husband. And he's represented by the two cup, the two cups upside down, right? So you can understand that, yes, the husband isn't happy with the wife probably at the moment. And maybe he's feeling left out or ignored because we've got a couple here, right? And they're exchanging gifts, but it's upside down. So there isn't an exchange going on at the moment. So the husband's feeling left, what, what can that mean? The husband's feeling left out or ignored or in some way his needs, let's say, aren't being met. Maybe he just needs some kind of recognition. Maybe he takes the wife tea every morning and she never says thank you. You know, all it takes is a little recognition that yes, you're doing a good job. And that may be part of how the, how the, the, the wife improves the relationship. Okay, so the fifth house shows children, but also shows the love affairs, right? So we go one, two, three, four, five, and we're back to this six of pentacles upside down, right? So now we're going to look at this same card that describes the first child's husband from the point of view of, does it show somebody who is interested in having an affair? And we look at the card and we've got the six of pentacles upside down. It's the fact that it's upside down might make us think, no, why not? Because coins represents money, but it also represents values. He can't find somebody who, with the same kind of values as he has. Maybe the kinds of people that he comes in contact with don't want an affair. Maybe they're looking for a home and children, but they can't get that because he's already got a home and children. So in some way, coins representing values don't work for him at the moment. So he's not happy with the wife, the two of cups upside down, but is he looking for an affair? No, not at the moment. He just needs some kind of kindness on the part of the wife and that solves the problem. Okay, you could also look at this card, which is the, the, the this is the husband. In the same way that this is the, the daughter's husband and this is the daughter's husband's income and values you could look at the the eighth house which is the one after the seventh to get an idea about the husband's value sense at the moment he's feeling and th this can be part of the 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 answer or the solution so he's feeling ignored or left out and with the ten of swords in the house of values he needs a new, a fresh start. So maybe because it's a 10 and 10 is one plus nothing gets you back to one again, it's time for him to look back on what he's been doing, what worked, what didn't work and make some changes and make some adjustments so that when he goes into the new cycle that's about to begin, then he's not going to re keep repeating the stuff that he doesn't like. So question two was, let's say the, oh, this, the, the, the questioner wants, has a business, right? So business is 10th house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the business. And the, 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 the questioner wants to know about the, a new contract. When will it be happening? So we turn the card here to get an idea about the business itself. And we get the lovers reversed. Okay, so... This can mean that the, the, the business owner is, is at crossroads and maybe they need to decide if they get this contract, what difference is it going to make to the company? Because maybe it's a new venture or a new line of income that he, that, he, that he or she is developing and they're undecided and unsure about it. So maybe what you do is, for, because the first card, 
for the business is the lovers upside down. Ask them, ask the owner, are you sure you really want to do this? Um, and then new contracts is business and new income. And the second house is income, right? So the second from the 10th is income for the business or to the business. And here we get, again, the six of pentacles is upside down. So here we've got somebody handing over cash, right? But it's upside down. It looks like if there's going to be new income, the way the person thinks or the way the person is anticipating is going to be delayed because it's upside down or something isn't going to quite work out. So maybe somebody wants to order a thousand units of something and it's going to cost them $50,000. But the six, the six of Pentacles upside down can be referring to the, the potential purchaser. The person who wants to spend the 50000 but he hasn't got $50,000 to buy what it is that he wants to buy from the business up here. So in some way there's delay or there are glitches or things are not going to work out the way you anticipate or the way that have been agreed the the ways that have been agreed N not because people are trying to to steal from you but just the way things are with the business at the moment and the third question was um will i be able to buy a new house or i'm thinking of buying new property so the home is the fourth house, one, two, three, four. And so we've got the, the four of buttons upright. And that's a card of celebration and movement and moving towards something that you want, moving towards a reason to be happy. So will there be a new house in the person's future? And it looks like yes, but just because of the We're looking at this card not to describe a person, but to describe a potential reason for celebrating. And it's a cicada of celebrations so where, yes, it's going to work. There is a house in the future. But because it's buying and selling houses, we need to probably look at the person's income. Can they afford it? So that's the questioner. This is the questioner's income and disposable income. So we turn this card and we get the King of Pentacles. And it's upright, so it's coins, it's money, it's upright, it's a king, and kings give orders, and kings are in charge. So it looks like reason to celebrate here in the fourth house to do with the home, and a king of pentacles in the money house, or in a house that relates to income, and buying and selling. So it looks like, yes, you will find some place you like, celebration, and you'll also be able to afford it, or you'll be able to buy it because of the King of Pentacles. Either you've got the money that you need or you're going to find a lender who, with a good rate of, of borrowing that will make it possible for you to buy the new house that you want. That's, what, that's how you kind of think about, you've got the question, you're not looking for one card to answer the question, you're putting together different ideas and you're looking maybe in this case at the same card but you want this card to tell you about income for the business as well as the character and personality of somebody's marriage partner as well as um, somebody else's maybe um, illicit relationship or romantic possibility so Let's say the questioner has had enough and they say, thank you very much. What you then do is you gather up the cards. You don't turn over cards you haven't looked at already because that's private. It's nothing to do with you. So you gather up the cards and um, without looking at what you, you didn't, weren't given permission to look at and you gather them up. A quick shuffle just to mix things up and to put a full stop at the end of the sentence. And then you gather up the um, cards and you put them away and that's it down to the next time. Okay, if you have comments or questions, let me know and we'll see what happens next. Okay, bye-bye.